Hello, my name is Jonathan and in this video I'm going to show you a circuit I've been working on. This is a control circuit that activates a fan based on the temperature. For this particular circuit I have the temperature set to activate just above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So just to explain to you a little bit about what's going on in this circuit. Um, right at this location is my temperature sensor. It's a LM34 temperature sensor and the delta for that temperature sensor is 10 millivolts per degree Fahrenheit. So at 85 degrees Fahrenheit that would give me approximately 0.85 volts. So um, I would need to condition that signal, get it up to uh, 3.5 volts approximately um, to activate this MOSFET that would in turn allow 12 volts to flow through the circuit and power up this fan so the fan turns on at uh, 85 degrees Fahrenheit now to condition that circuit uh, that signal that voltage signal from 0.85 to 3.5 volts uh, the gain factor is 4 um, now this this circuit doesn't have to be a fan uh, it can be any type of load that you want to have uh, connected to it. Uh, depending on your application, if you want to drive an AC load, instead of a MOSFET, what you can use is a solid state relay. And um, that would allow you to drive an AC load. Uh, and it also doesn't have to be a temperature circuit. For example, this sensor can be anything. It can be a motion detector. Um, that it all depends on your application. So I'm just going to give you a little demonstration of how the circuit performs. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, right there you see I have a temperature probe and currently the temperature is at 73.2 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to apply some heat to the temperature sensor so that we can see the temperature increase on the temperature monitor here and um, also the fat, the activation of the fan. So let's go ahead and apply some heat. So there we go. Now the fan's going to maintain uh, an on state until the temperature drops. and we can see the fan slowing down because the temperature is decreasing and eventually it will come to a stop zoom in a little bit more there just so you can see what's happening and there we go the fan is pretty much completely stopped this is the completed circuit assembled on the permanent board. Uh, flip it over in the back. There's all the soldering work that was done. Flip it back over. Zoom out a bit. And this right here is my power adapter. So I'm going to power it up and let's give it a shot. Okay, so I got the circuit set up and ready for testing. Power's connected, fans connected, thermometer's in place. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some heat now and see how uh, things work out.